Fred is very nice question. I try, you try this, right? And and I think that if you try this, you'll come to that it's an applica application of what? Wilson's theorem, right? But little bit twisted Wilson's theorem. Okay, now understand, look at this question, right? See guys, so it is actually 56 factorial by 19 cube here. What is the remainder mean? 56 factorial is divided by 19 cube. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, I taught you a concept of, if you remember, I taught you a concept of cancellation factor here in the remainders, right? Cancellation factors. Okay. Now, once you, if you see this, so obviously, had it been 57 factorial here, right? Had it been 57 factorial divided by 19 cube, the remainder would have been zero. Correct, right? Because 57 factorial will, will include 319, no? If you write 57 factorial, that will be like something 19 cube into some k divided by 19 cube and the remainder I'm trying to find, right? It has to be zero because it's zero because it will get cancelled actually, right? So, we, but it is a 56 factorial here, right? That means there are two 19s present here, no? So if I make it 56 factorial, so I can say that there are two 19s present here. Okay, and it won't completely cancel, right? Yeah. So in 56 factorial, there are two 19s here. Okay, it won't completely cancel, right? So in cancellation factor, what we do, we just try to remove that uh, common part, okay? So I think 19 square is the common part here. So from, from numerator and denominator, I'll remove 19 square, right? So for example, see like, uh, the number will become like this. Let's say if I start 56 factorial, no? It's like one into two into three, it will be 18. Okay. And then 19 will not be there, right? Because 19 I have cancelled out. Okay. So 19, I'll keep it aside as cancellation factor. Okay. Then again, it will be like 20, 21, 22. It will go till again where? Uh, till next 18 numbers, right? That is 37. Again, 38 will not be there. Because 38, again, that 19 in 38, I cancelled with 19 in square actually, right? So it again starts with now like 39 into and it goes like 40, 41, and it goes till 56 factorial actually, right? Let me just write it uh, along here, okay. So this is 56 factorial here, right? So what is missing here? So one 19 is missing here and one 38 is missing here, right? So basically that number I have cancelled out, a 19 is left here, and I'll say 19 is square is my cancellation factor, right? Again, a beautiful concept, right? Okay. So 1 to 20, 1 to 18, then 20 to 37, and then 39 to 56. Uh, sorry, not factorial, right? I'm sorry. Okay. So this is 19 is square, right? Now this is the question here. Now if you understand it, guys, no, very right. This is an observation question, actually. Understand this. 1 to 18 will become 18 factorial, right? 1 to 18 will become 18 factorial? Okay, fine. Then 20 to 37. Now can I say that it is again 18 factorial? Why? Why? Tell me why. Because, because, now I'll tell you. See, 20 by 19 remainder is 1. 21 by 19 remainder is 2. 22 by 19 remainder is 3. Till 37 by 19 remainder is 18, right? So it's somewhat again 1 to 18 again becomes 18 factorial here. Right? That's the observation here. Okay. Then, Again, if you move forward, again into, okay? Look at this, into, right? Into. Into what? Now, 39 is there, 40 till 56 is there, right? So, 39 by 19, what's the remainder? Now, again, if you see it, again, remainder is 1. So, 39 by 19, again, remainder is 1. Okay, 40 by 19, remainder is 2. Till 58 by 19, remainder is again 18, right? This third also becomes 18 factorial. Okay, but with, with, one in this 38, this 38 was 2 into 19, right? So this 19 I cancelled, but this 2 actually remained here, okay? So this 2 remained here, this 2 will not go anywhere, right? This, this So it will it will include a 2 also, right? It has to include a 2 also with it, okay? Right? This is what, this is the result I got, okay? Now divide by what? Divided by 19. This remainder I'm finding, right? And obviously at the end multiply by 19 square. Okay. Now what I'm getting here, guys, 18 factorial cube I'm getting divided by 19 and then remainder, sorry, into 2 also. Okay. Into some 19 square, right? That's the cancellation factor actually. This is the cancellation factor. 
right those are not those are not those, those who do, do, does not know this right you can go in this remainders play, playlist of number system and you can see this fund of cancellation factor right now 18 now as per the wilson's theorem i know that i know that 18 factorial by 19 remainder is what minus 1 because the wilson's theorem states that for any prime number p uh, p minus 1 upon p minus 1 factorial upon p will give a remainder of minus 1 so once 18 factorial by 19 remainder is minus 1 here so can i write that this is minus 1 q into 2 upon 19 right this actually becomes what this becomes minus 2 okay this is minus 2 and this is 19 is square now if this remainder is minus 2 here right this is minus 2 so in terms of positive remainder right so minus 2 by 19 what is that so minus 2 when the, when remainder of minus 2 will come its positive remainder must be 17 right so now it's like that this part remainder is actually 17 okay and then into 19 is square okay so now it's like 361 into 17 that is th 3610 and uh, 6137 right so 6137 is the answer this question actually that's it right so actually this is the funda behind this i hope it is clear to everyone okay uh, this beautiful remainder question here okay and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so their easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrda sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get you get get, get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this is one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank one two three one year subscription i think around twenty thousand or 75% scholarship or 50% so, so, so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here Ravi Roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every Sunday do give this at 12 p.m. it's on every Sunday okay so every Sunday Give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.